Thanks, Haley and Marissa. All of these crimes have students wondering, how safe am I on campus? This is why the Student Government Association met recently to make some tough decisions about guns on campus. Of the 11 deadliest shootings in the United States, five have happened on a college campus. SGA addressed the issue with a concealed weapon bill, and I attended the heated meeting. The growing debate on gun control has found its way to WVU. The university's current policy says that concealed weapons are not allowed on campus. But WVU student government recently voted on a bill that would allow concealed weapon carriers to bring their guns to class. I understand that guns are not for everyone, and I respect that. If people are intimidated by them, I respect that. But I also don't believe that their decision to not support them should affect my decision on being able to legally and safely carry them and defend myself in the unfortunate incident that I would be approached by multiple or single assailant. Due to last-minute discussion of the bill and confusion on the voting process, the bill was first passed but then later rejected. Two SGA members did not not participate in the vote. And I think something like this, because the university is intricately tied both with the state and Morgantown, it would need conversation from the entire student body as well as an open forum that any citizen of the city or the state could attend. In 23 states, the decision to allow or ban concealed weapons on campuses are made by individual colleges and universities. West Virginia is one of those states. SGA Attorney General Catherine Baumkamp explained the revote. There was uh, an issue on whether we were going to take this as a majority vote or two-thirds, and in the past we have always taken it as a two-third vote, and with the numbers that were presented to me, that constituted a two-third vote. A tweet from SGA later confirmed that the bill passed in a 7-6 to six vote. The decision remains controversial due to the lack of legislative power the bill holds, as SGA can only support concealed weapon legislation, not enforce it. A recent statement by SGA President-elect Ryan Campion explains that the bill will expire next week and will be placed on the new administration's agenda. Haley and Marissa, back to you.